So we noticed in the box turtle enclosure there's these white fly, white flies or gnats. I mean, we don't spray pesticides. We would much rather go ahead and spray these enclosures with this Dawn dish soap or organic. And this is true, we love to do the things that we're not supposed to do. We don't mean robbing, stealing, or mugging. In fact, we'll take it seriously. We're only bugging. Welcome to Crazy Critters Inc. channel. Today we're going to talk about white flies and what we do to get rid of the problem. Uh, we're not going to spray pesticides around the turtles and tortoises, so we use organic ingredients, something called the perfect solution. Uh, we're going to leave the link in the description to our webpage where we talk about the perfect solution. You can use this as a uh, uh, ant killer, a weed killer, uh, insect killer, and uh, a water softener for your plants. For, it's a natural fertilizer. And you just wouldn't believe how good the, the perfect solution is. So link in the description. Don't forget to check that out. And uh, today, yeah, pests that are pests. Bugs that bug us. It's a good conversation. So we noticed in the box turtle enclosure there's these white fly, white flies or gnats. I mean, we don't spray pesticides and stuff like that. So having a natural environment with real plants and stuff, I mean, this is just something we have to deal with on a regular basis. So when we find them, we just use a little bit of organic dish soap or Blue Dawn dish soap. And we mix it up in a pump up sprayer. And uh, we spray the whole entire area really, really good. I'm about to do that because I've um, got some extra weeds to feed to the box turtles today and we want to make sure we spray them before we put the weeds in there. So let me make up my mixture with the Dawn dish soap, pump up sprayer, a little bit of water. I don't measure it, I just put a whole bunch. Uh, I would say a tablespoon or two tablespoons. And then we're going to fill this up with water and we're going to spray the enclosure. The brown inside the jug is tannin from tea because I use the same pump up sprayer for the perfect solution uh, for my plants, which is Dawn dish soap or organic dish soap, tea, and essence salt. So um, I can use this container for both purposes. And the tannin water is not bad for, for the animals at all. Okay. So you probably cannot even see the problem because it's nothing major, but you see the uh, some of the little white specks. When I was out here photographing this last week, I noticed that um, well, some of it's not dirt, some of it's just little white gnats. And we have this beautiful ecosystem of real plants, so um, we're just going to make sure that we, we treat her with some dish soap. We're going to make sure we pick up the plants and spray around the roots all along the sides of the uh, enclosure.
The little white flies are not messing with the tortoise's health at all. That's a good thing. They just want to predate and live on the green plants that are in here. Drink some of the water. It's a pretty safe environment. And this enclosure has a, a very moist half, which is the perfect living environment for them. But look, there's all these like lizards that live in here that are, uh, uh, Yes, you can see right there. So they're over here eating all the flies naturally. But sometimes they get to be too many. That's why they're called a pest. Make sure we spray the, the wood down because that's going to be a living environment. With that said, not a single box turtle is out for us to view. Because it's uh, 12.30 in the afternoon and it's just way too hot for them. So they're up underneath their log or underneath the fern roots, wherever they choose to be. The next day. So it's the next day, and we're gonna go out and see if the box turtle enclosure has less mice. I've already mixed up my uh, spray, so let's head on out there and see how the enclosure is doing. Really hot day today. Everybody's up in the shade. Oh yeah, look, all the white mites are off the the wood. Well, some are still here, so that's why we're going to retreat. Retreat, and then we're going to overflow the water. That way all the eggs come out. Oh yeah, these look better. This is where the eggs were for the mites. So we're going to spray this fern again real good and spray around the ground. And to be honest, we so we would much rather go ahead and spray these enclosures with this Dawn dish soap or organic dish soap rather than spraying a pesticide in there because the tortoises are going to eat off the ground. Remember that pile of uh, weeds I put down here just yesterday? Um, there's just none left. So we want to make sure that they're good and healthy and the white mites aren't bothering them. We're just going to do that to protect the environment. Go ahead and spray our plants here with the perfect solution. And if you're looking to see what the ingredients are of the perfect solution, uh, the link is in the description below.
let's go ahead and see if we can see any box turtles while we're here. Gotta go under the, the log. I'm going to see them. They hide in there. And then, well, I'll try to put them in there. What are you guys doing? We may as well go ahead and prop or spray the stuff we're propagating. Thinking about having a yard sale plant sale pretty soon to make some income, but for today, I'm just going to spray to make sure we're preventing white mites in here. Ideally, in a natural environment, you're going to have, uh, you know, pests, but you're going to uh, invite bugs that eat the pests. So if you leave uh, it alone, it doesn't get out of hand. Usually nature is going to uh, remedy the solution. Uh, but I'm going to tell you, we use the greenhouse and we close it up, and so the conditions aren't exactly favorable for all love bugs or ladybugs or... I meant ladybugs, not love bugs, they're useless, but ladybugs and, and other kind of uh, moths and lots of other insects that eat insects, they're not going to make it into the greenhouse um, because it's a closed environment. Bugs. <laughs>